I'm Bo Blaylock with MyLocalHotspots.com, and I am with the amazing Bob Taylor from the High Cotton Grill over in Gulfport, Mississippi on Pass Road, and he's going to cook us up a good dish today. What are you going to make for us today, Bob? Well, Bo, we're going to start with some seafood pasta. It's a nice plate. Yes, it is. Now, see that? Ooh. Very good. Now, you want to top that off with some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Right. Like that. Throw a little parsley on there, make it look real good, and there you go. Dean Murray from Rockout Catering Hello. over in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, and he's going to cook some wonderful dish for us today. What are you cooking? Uh, today we're going to do uh, lump crab cakes with a little orange pepper aioli. Awesome, awesome. Well, let's get started. Let's fold it around. The, the idea is to uh, to fold the crab meat and not, not stir, stir it. it. That way you don't break it up. Okay. So what we're going to do is take a little ring mold. We're going to patty the cakes up. I'm just going to yeah. do three for this plate. That's good. Do you have a, there. a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of kosher salt. A little bit of black pepper. All right, so we're going to go to the plate with these things. I like to just do, just put a little, uh, make sure she's, uh, be generous with that. Oh, yeah. We'll go, just kind of go across the plate like that. That looks good. And we're going to toss this around a little bit. Salad on top. Oh, that looks good. And that's good. pretty much the dish. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. Chef Robert Bennett from Scranton's Restaurant over in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Tell us what you're going to make for us today. I'm going to make uh, Cajun shrimp and grits today. Cajun shrimp yeah. and grits. Good stuff. All right, That's basically what I've got going on now is some uh, little shrimp, little 9110s we call them. I'm sauteing a little bit of butter. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little coarse black pepper to it. All right. A little bit of Tony Sasher's Creole. The good stuff. Uh, of course, we're going to use garlic. Is that That's minced garlic? garlic? That is minced garlic. Okay. I use a lot of it because I like it. All right. It. All right, we're going to do like that. All right, we'll let the shrimp saute in this a little bit. I'll throw in some bacon bits. Bacon bits. This is the south. you got to have bacon. The good stuff. Yeah, you got to have bacon. Three minutes until the mushrooms get sort of tender. Okay. You don't, them, you don't want them to be cooked where they disappear. You want to be able to still see them. No, not at all. A little bit of butter, flour, milk, cream, you name it, it's in there. I'm telling Richard to get out the recipe. I make this up in big old batches, so all I've got to do is whenever I get ready to. Just pour right in. Just pour right on in. Now, does that have to reduce? Uh-uh. It's, only, no? it's just to the point that it is. All it has to do is just heat up. Good stuff. And mix in with all of this. That smells good. All right. Basically, it's done. Pour it over the top. Just pour it right over the grits. Look at that. And I, that's how it's served. And that is how it's served. Oh, yeah, man. Good stuff. Yes, it is. My name. I was teaching ninth grade math, and I gave a test. The last question on the test was... What do you want the cool dip to be called? And they all wrote in Rebel Dip because the high school, Harrison Central High School, Red Rebel. That's how Rebel Dip got there. That's how the name got there. That's, that's how the name got there. 